What I need to do on this part of the tractor is to remove the top cover of that gear case. The reason is just simple. There's a cylinder lifting these three punch itch. This cylinder is inside of the uh, gear case and this is leaking hydraulic oil, which means the excess of hydraulic oil is going into the gear oil. So it's, get, uh, it's getting thinner and thinner and it's not good for the gears. And as far as I get some leaks, then the, the lever is going up in that gear case and the level on the uh, first gear case is going low. So I'm going to remove all these to replace uh, O-ring. So far that's where I am. It must be a lot of stuff here. We go hitch. I guess next thing is to remove those arms. I could have removed from here. And this one used to have an adjustable ball and could swivel in that, but it seems to be uh, locked in, it's no longer usable. I'm not going to remove those balls because it's kind of uh, big balls, and most likely they are threaded in that part, and it's most likely rusted. I, I don't have any advantage to remove this. from the bottom. From here, this is the lever to engage the PTO. It's just guided with a small bracket. I have to remove the bracket because when I'm going to lift the cover then I'm being I'd be stuck with that handle. Okay, there's two balls under this bracket that up to now haven't been useful for any reason except to retain some dead leaf. So this lever is linked with that device which is a slotted, it's slotted and does stoppers up and down. This lever is fixed. So Whenever this slotted device reach the stopper, then it disengage the lever to make sure that I don't lower or lift the arm too far. So I would have to um, maybe remove it or maybe just undo the link.
that's very really funny to see some original color. So looking inside there are some splines, let's say missing splines that match with the missing splines on the other sides. Make sure that I get the proper alignment. Like I mentioned before, there's two balls below. Eight more hours to go. So this is the dipstick, if you look, there's a line, the fill line, a watch. Now I am at the fill line. So I have at least a five gallons to drain. Gotta be prepared for that. Have uh, enough empty, empty pails. This is the assembly, upside down. So the cylinder is in there. I can see there's some grease. At some point there must have been some grease falling into the oil. So each time I grease that shaft, there's some coming out, but apparently most of it is coming in. So next thing is to remove that cap. like this that's built with a lot of oil okay so from the inside that's the uh, inlet that's the piston I guess there's a o-ring or something like that and the cover with the small o-ring there so for sure I will replace both
So as you can see, there's a shack in there. Looks like it could go off this way. Not going to remove it anyway. So there's this pin. Going to push. So this pin is going to push inside of this, and I would assume this small old O ring is to avoid this pin to slide freely against the inner side of the cylinder. So I have to find a way to change this O ring. I have to remove one pin here. Okay, as you can see, in my hand, I'm going to turn. This is lifting the three points. So this ball push this gigantic lever that actually directly the uh, shaft. Shaft is going to uh, lift the arms. <clears throat> There's a rubber there, as the pin have to be moving inside of that cylinder. There's nothing holding this pin inside this. It's going to push in the very center. But for any reason, the attachment is going higher than what the uh, lift arm are lifting. Then this, that's a big pin or shaft, will sit down will sag this pin will fall at the bottom of the cylinder and it could mark the inside of the cylinder this is why there's a o-ring there make sure the pin will not slide into uh, metal to metal now i'm going to dig a little bit into grease wow That's one reason why you don't over grease. So most of the grease is falling into the uh, gearbox. Well, I have no choice but to remove the shaft if I want to remove that pin, if I want to remove that rubber seal. Yes. Okay. It's really dry. Okay. I got a small score there. I have to really remove. So I have to remove it can feel it ah okay there it is There's a small o-ring in then in there.
it's no longer round it's really packed it's going like this inside the groove just saw that some scarring I have to look into the uh, cylinder what it is apparently this o-ring that was on the uh, connecting rod is in good shape So this ring isn't working, actually it's sealing on. So the shop manual doesn't describe very well this part. Actually, my cylinder and piston are not like this, absolutely not. So it says remove plug from front of cylinder using a brass rod wooden dowel, tap piston rewire out of cylinder. Zimmon piston and cylinder for scaring and wear. Renew all O rings and reassemble. That's how basic this manual shop manual is. So, next thing I try to remove the shaft. Hopefully, I don't lose the uh, reference. So that's the um, lever and the splines that will push, the piston will push this rod, this rod will actuate. I'm doing to do some good clean up on these parts. So we have some scarring, scarring at the bottom. Other than that, seems good. It's about time to wake up the beast. <laughs> 